In this video, I want to share with you diesel owners the importance of running an auxiliary electric boost pump at the rear of the car. I know what some of you are thinking, saying, why should I do that? Well, let me give you a bunch of history here and how this all started and what I've learned over the years using these type of pumps. It really began about 10 years ago when I uh, try, was trying to come up with a good single tank conversion system for running waste vegetable oil. It became very obvious if I was going to be running and starting the engine on vegetable oil, I needed more <laughs> fuel delivery, okay? I needed some boost because the engine driven pump, the engine driven lift pump was just not enough to pull that thick oil from the fuel tank all the way up to the engine compartment. So we did a lot of research and we came up with this pump right here. It had to be a, you know, a, a fairly reliable uh, it had a pump. It had to be able to push heavy fuel. It had to be regulated by pressure. So when a certain pressure was met, it would shut off automatically. And in, in those days, we, we, we couldn't find anything better than the Walbro uh, series of fuel pumps. And you see one of the early styles right here installed in this 300 TD wagon. And the wagons are unique in the fact that they have a very small uh, fuel outlet from the tank, very small diameter pipe that comes out of the fuel tank. So this is another system. I have a preheater here that preheats the fuel. And I'm not going to go over that in this video. I'll go over that in a different video. But I just want to focus on this boost pump. And what we found out was that by adding a boost pump at the back end of the system, right? You, in other words, you let, the, you let the fuel drain out of the tank into the pump. And then that pump is pushing it right up to the engine compartment. What a difference that made. Well, unbelievable. Not only in the performance, because you were getting a positive pressure to the fuel injection pump. Uh, you didn't get that stalling and coughing at high speed or acceleration. But the other thing was maintenance. I couldn't believe it. You know, with a fuel boost pump, you don't have all this problem trying to prime it. When you change your filters, you just turn the pump on and it just pushes the fuel up there and bleeds your SVO filter. I can't believe some of the frustrations I had with some of the early systems I worked with it trying to get, trying to bleed them after you change that big SVO filter in the engine compartment. So that started it. Uh, it was the SVO thing that really started the use of these pumps. But then a lot of these systems we started running on diesel. And I go, my, oh my, what? this is like a turbocharger on this diesel. And I began to realize by having a pump back here, you were also eliminating a bunch of problems in the system that are related to age. OK, you have an engine driven lift pump that's getting tired. You have the fuel injection pump that, that's, that's wearing and getting a little tired. And all it took was just adding a little, we're talking about 10 PSI of pressure on the back end of the system, just giving that little bit of boost. And suddenly, you could feel the acceleration and the power increase in the diesel engine running on diesel. Not, not SVO, not vegetable oil, but running on diesel fuel. And, if, and of course, your filters would last longer because with that positive pressure, you know, pushing into the filter, as the filter would start to plug up, having that extra pressure would increase the filter life. And of course, even changing your diesel fuel, fuel filters a lot faster with an electric pump because after change of filter, you just get back there, you know, open up the return and just hit the boost pump and everything's bled <laughs> and away you go. So this, this I'm really sold on right here. But and, and, and over, the, over the years, we've sold hundreds of these kits. And the kit is basically a DIY kit that comes with the mounting plates you'll need, all the wiring, the hoses, wiring. To, you'll have to run wiring back here from the engine compartment. It comes with you know clamps, mounts, everything you need. There isn't anything else you're going to need in this kit. But recently, it's been more and more difficult to get a hold of these Walbro pumps. They've, the prices have gone way up. There are also some new pumps that are coming out on the market today uh, that, that should be considered. And there's some really interesting pump ne technology going on. So effective, effective uh, uh, March of 2014, we're not going to sell the kit any longer with the pump. We're going to let you go out and get your own pump. 
And in the description of this product, uh, this kit on our website, we, we can give you links to where to, to try to get this pump. Um, but the pump, the pump has to be electrically driven. It should be a pressure uh, sensitive pump. And you always want to use filters. Even though these pumps have in, built in filters, we provide our kit with a pre filter like the one that's in the diesel engine compartment that you install just before the pump. You need to protect these pumps no matter what type of pump you use. So if, you, if you'd like to get a little boost out of your old diesel, okay, just maybe a little, a little power boost, a little, a little less um, maintenance issues when you're having uh, fuel-related uh, problems with your engine, you might want to consider this pump. And, and so now when you buy the pump, you'll get all the parts to mount it yourself, the wiring and complete instructions on how to install this yourself. And we'll let you go out and find your own pump. That'll, that should uh, uh, you know, reduce the cost overall because you'll be able to kind of source your own pump, but still get the advantage of having all this other information, all these other things. You know, it's not just a matter of sticking a pump here. You have to find a way to wire it proper, mount it and wire it properly from the engine compartment so it will run when it should run. It obviously can't run all the time. So. If you're, if you're interested in this, I'll just put a link uh, in the description of this video and, and, and you know, go to my website. I have a lot of other good technical information. We have a lot of free technical information under the tech help section of our website if you're having problems with your older diesel. Remember, <laughs> adding a boost pump is not going to solve the problems of a bad running diesel engine if you've got other issues going on. And there could be things like fuel injectors and valve adjustment, all these other things that we go over in great detail on our website. So we're, we just invite you to go there, look over our tech help section and see what you can learn to get your own diesel running like it should.